Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am popping on with a quick, well, I say quick, I have not one, not two bags, but three bags and it's a Poundland haul, if you haven't already guessed. Um, Poundland, I think I've probably said it before on my videos with Poundland haul, it is literally the shop that everything's so cheap but yeah, you can end up spending a fortune before you know it. And I just love to always pop in Poundland if I'm near my local Poundland or near another Poundland just to see what they've got. Um, because I don't always go monthly. So sometimes it's just nice to see what new products they have got. Um, and although it's called Poundland now, some of the stuff is unfortunately not a pound but some of it is still well worth its value for the price that it is so I'm going to go in no particular order and just grab out things from the bag um, and just to let you know I didn't pick anything up today but I have previously and they did have some stuff on offer today for 50 pence so it was even cheaper than a pound and it was things like decorative plates, candle holders, wax melts that sort of thing so always tend to have a good look round because sometimes you might come across stuff that is even cheaper than a pound which is always great in my book to pick up a bargain so I'm going to just dive into this at no particular order so the first thing I have is I have two of these so I'll take them both out and they're a pound and they're li little like you pop them on the plate and then you pop your chips in the cone so it's just a cone holder and they were a pound so I bought two of those. Um, I don't normally buy into fancy things like that but thought well, why not give them a go. And sometimes like my kids they like the other stuff. Then like my son who has autism is quite fussy sometimes about like things like if he has beans or something with liquid in or another food even touching that food so I thought for a pound these would be perfect because I could just pop his chips in these and they are literally well out of the way from the rest of the food on his plate so for a pound even if they break or like because sometimes when you clean metal stuff like this it can like rust up over time for a pound you can't complain if they don't last very long and you just pick up some more when you're next in there and the first time I put the kids chips in these they will think that they're great so and obviously I will watch them before anybody says that to them so the next thing I got was some charger wires and I also grabbed two of those one in like the rose gold pinky colour and one in silver literally because charging wires in this house always seem to end up going walkabouts or just you plug them in and they're not working no more so for a pound I just like to always make sure that and actually it was one of the reasons why I went in today because literally all the charger wires had gone bar one that would only charge if you sat it in a certain position and we need the phones on for the alarms in this house and um, like obviously when my school holiday now but when my son's at school I need the um, school to be able to contact us if anything happens and obviously running a business I need my phone doing YouTube and Instagram I need my phone so perfect for a pound if they go wrong next time I'm there buy some more and I think I should, probably should have bought more than two but uh, it was quite packed today and I thought we'll just pick up two so there's two at least and then I think next time I might pick up four or five just because although they're cheaper and maybe that's why they don't last as long but it's just good to have them there ready handy so the other thing I bought was a piece of cardboard two body sprays um, and next I got these they're called natural wipes I mean these are basically like 
um, the water wipes that you get, which are fantastic because I still use them to clean up my son's and just clean anything. Um, uh, but he has eczema, so I don't like to use anything with harsh, harsh, harsh chemicals in them, and I never have, even from like they didn't really have water wipes around when mine were first born but even when they were first born I like to use like the cotton wool and the water um, and my son has eczema so I have to be really really careful what I use also with him having autism and special needs sometimes he doesn't like the smells of certain things and he won't use them but these are just perfect they're 90 8.7% water so they're mostly plus with natural fruit e extracts no paraffins, no alcohol and no perfume and they say mild formula on so they're just really delicate delicate for baby skin you get 60 in the pack um, these were a pound the water wipes are not a pound I think the cheapest stuff's in them is two pounds and that is the cheapest which I go through a lot of wipes even though my children are older I still go through a lot of wipes I take them everywhere and not only that they're handy for just wiping things down and when you go out to eat you know just wiping things around so uh, literally it would probably not that I mind but it would probably to have the actual water wipes I'd probably be looking at spending £10 for the amount of packs that I buy easily and they probably don't even last a week so I'll, I've never tried these before so if you have um, let me know or if you've tried something even better than this or the water wipes then let me know in the comments down below your recommendation so I'll give these a go, if they're no good then I will just won't bother using them no more or they'll be handy just for me to like wipe my skin down and that after I've took my makeup off or whatever or sometimes when I get up in the morning before I go to the bathroom to do a full wash I just like to wipe my face over from the night before so it could be perfect for that if not now I bought this little activity pop and play book because I have um, my son has a party to go to and I also bought some bead sets as well um, bought some dog pads for my dog um, I got the puppy ones because you get 30 in there for £2 and the dog ones you only got 7 for a pound. now my dog is a chihuahua so she's not very big um, mostly we obviously take her out for walks and take her outside and she'll do a toilet but I always just think these are best to have on hand just in case especially if you're going into somebody else's house if you take one of these with you um, like when I go around family sometimes I'll take the dog and it's just just handy for two quid to have them in um, or at night just to pop one down because you know it's hard you can't stop them um, and like obviously I still clean it up straight away but it's just handy just to have those so if there is an accident that's where it would would be but it's more so for when I'm going to other people's um, where the dog might have a bit of an accident um, otherwise really it's sorry you're outside you go to the toilet outside um i've got some t uh cellar tape and a birthday card but i didn't actually get them from poundland so i'll pop them over there so that is the second bag as well in the third bag which is quite a big bag so you might have to bear with me as a drink bottle i got this i don't know how good it is going to be i don't know if you can see it's a mop um, and broom organiser wall hanger now it's in pink I'm not really very keen on the colour pink but my broom and that isn't pink so I think time you a dustpan and brush on it you might not really notice I have seen these in other places but not for a pound and I thought because like the brooms don't really go in the cupboard and that fit in there be handy just to have it up on the wall organized out of the way so for a pound I'll probably just keep it and then maybe if I see another one the different color I'll grab that but literally that's all they have it's pink so yeah then next I got these 
mop duster heads. Um, the clean zone, mop duster wipes, disposable and strategically charged to attract dust and dirt. Um, you get 32 in a pack. Now, I either sweep or hoover mostly, but I have seen, I've never really used these, but I've heard people talk about them. And I suppose if somebody's coming over in between dusting, um, sweeping and hoovering before you mop, maybe it might be quicker if, you know, it's just a little bit of dust just to pop one of these on the end of the mop and just do it that way. So they were a pound for 32, so I thought, well, I'll give them a go. I'm not sure what I'm going to make of them because, like I said, I prefer either getting the vacuum out or sw sweeping up. So, mostly, actually, we have hardwood floors, so it is mostly the vacuum or just sweeping if we can. Um, and then the vacuum comes out for more of a thorough clean, like once or twice a week, or for things like the sofas, um, hoovering the dining room chairs that are fabric. Um, Literally, there is only one room, which is my room, that has carpet in. Um, and I'm thinking about putting hardwood floor in there. It's just easy with kids to have hardwood floors and with pets because it's easier to um, clean up the dust. Over time, I think carpets, no matter how much you hoover them, dust still clogs it up, you know, and things. So that's why I'm thinking about changing the hardwood uh, the carpet in my room to hardwood, hardwood floor. Although we want to move, so I'm wondering if there's any point. But then, like I said, things like cleanliness, it really bothers me that there's carpets down in there. Carpet is cheaper initially, sometimes than flooring. And sometimes, like, this was the first place that I lived in. So it was just kind of quick decision to put down carpet but over time everything's changed to hardwood floors and I think the living room always was hardwood floor and obviously the kitchen and the bathroom so yeah I, I, I just personally prefer hardwood floors I think they're easier to clean and maintain and um, to keep clean for longer really as well so I'm not going to drag on about that so then I've got this affordable, excellent lawn feed liquid. You get 600 mils, it says, for the price of 500. Fast-acting lawn treatment promotes greener and healthier lawn. And it just says that you use between March and September, so it's perfect time to use it in wet or dry conditions, on newly sown lawns or established lawns. Um, description... You mix eight inner cupfuls or capfuls with um, nine litres of water and evenly put over the area. So that was a pan. I thought I'd give that a go because the grass this year, or well, the end of last year, it sort of went a bit patchy and we put like the the seed so that down and that seemed to have sorted itself out end of last summer but this summer it's been cut and it's looking a bit worse for wear it's not that it's patchy as such it's just that where it's died it looks sort of like more like straw rather than green and I have to admit I do like a nice green grass and if I could get my grass perfectly with the lines like that I would be chuffed so if you have any tips you know what obviously going in and out the other way with the lawnmower but um not really had perfectly perfect um my dog is just deciding to bark because we're driving down the street so i will hold tight let me just see who that is um, Is somebody with a parcel so sorry for that so then I got the spray bottles because I thought it'd be easier to use for the lawn feed and you get two in there for a pan so now I can use them for other stuff and I got two of these root diffusers so I got a white mask one they look new to the pan and range I've seen the other ones before but not them make so I got that and then fresh linen also 
and also Sephora and this was £2 because it's a big bottle and it's the Apple Orchid, Orchid one. I haven't tried that before so I thought I'd give that a go. Um, I think I've got a drink so I spent £19.30 because of the bags as well. So I think that is absolutely brilliant um, and yeah just like Poundland. Um, feel free to share your favourite Poundland buys or your favourite Poundland stores or anything about Poundland in general in this video below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about other flavours of flavours you wouldn't eat it. Sense of Sephora as well. Um, I'll probably do a video soon on Sephora and also talking about cleaning routine, talking about cleaning and stuff. And I'll probably do one on maintaining the garden. If there's any suggestions you've got, let me know. I'll pop them in the description box below. And yeah, and I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. It's lovely speaking to you and I'm going to leave it here. So goodbye, speak soon.